Hello, good evening. It is Sunday around uh, 7 p.m. Today I thought I'd show you a complete swimming workout from start to finish. If you've never done a swimming workout in your entire life, well, now's your chance to watch. <laughs> okay. It's pissing rain outside in Vancouver, as usual. So what better way to spend the evening by swimming? <laughs> if you've gone to your local gym and worked out, it's kind of like a similar routine, okay? There's a warm up, and then you do your sets, and then you cool down and you relax, and then you go home. That's it. We're gonna spend one hour here. That's our time limit. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna warm up. And the way I'm gonna warm up is by jumping rope, okay? So I've shown in previous videos how I warm up. If you don't know how to warm up, then just check out my other videos. If you don't have a jump rope, then try sprinting outside in the rain. Whatever you like to warm up. This is like a Nike speed rope. And to be honest, it's not the best jump rope out there. I've tried better ones. I only bought this one because it looked cool and I like the color. I like bright yellow colors because I can see the rope in action. Whereas some jump ropes, you know, they're like steel gray color or black color and you can't really see the rope as it moves. The pool. Here's a pro tip. As you are warming up, make sure you wear your jammers or your swimsuit underneath. You don't want your, your heart rate to go down all of a sudden, right? So keep your jammers on as you warm up. We're gonna get started. First of all, we're gonna thoroughly rinse ourselves off, okay? So this is something that a lot of people forget to do. A lot of newbies, and experienced people as well don't shower or rinse off before they enter the water and that's a no-no respect the pool respect the people that are swimming with you in this water keep it clean okay rinse off all that disgusting filth that you have on you dandruff lice dead skin booger toe jam cologne perfume hair gel hairspray wax whatever you have on you now is the time to rinse that crap off. If you don't believe me, you know, it says right here. Every pole has a sign that says, please shower before entering the pool. And as a lifeguard, I've seen a lot of people try to get away without showering, and I always call them out. And you should too. If you see anybody not showering before entering the pool, call them out, all right? Let them know what the rule is, or just notify your local lifeguard, and they'll take care of it. So in case you're wondering what you need, to swim, you need goggles, a swim cap if you have long hair like me, which I'm getting, especially you ladies. If you have short hair, guys, then you don't need the swim cap, but you definitely need goggles. They are the windshield to your car, and you need some jammers or swimsuit, okay? So, let's rinse off. In case you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm making sure my hair is rinsed out, okay? So, if you're wondering the secret to my healthy, luscious hair, this is what I do. I do what Christopher Walken does. I just grab and pull. <laughs> grab and pull. And do this with shampoo or conditioner. It's much easier. Okay? So I get rid of all that dead hair. So it doesn't end up in the pool. Next. Rinse the face off, okay? Get rid of all that skin lotion, whatever you apply on your face, lace, makeup. Come on, you don't want to be ingesting that stuff when you're in the water. So rinse it off. Thoroughly. Booger, snot, ear wax, ears. Good to go. Next, just get your whole body struck down. Grab it yeah, baby. Okay, grab your legs. Put on the suit cap first. All right, so, what I do? Take my suit cap. If you want to know which one is the front side, just look for the logo on your cap. 
That usually indicates the front. And usually the divider line indicates the divider line here. Do you want to go this way? Go ahead, be a rebel. What I do is I get my seam cap wet. Right? Don't want it dry. It's hard to put on your head. So then I put the water like this, like a bucket. And then pull down like this. Just like putting on dishwashing gloves, okay? Make sure it's nice and secure. Rinse it up. Feels good. Next, goggles. Give it a good rinse. Take my thumbs, wipe the inside and the outside, like this. How I put it on? Do like this. Make a pour, like a rectangle, like this, okay? So the rectangle controls with the fingers, like this. So, make a rectangle like that. Put the back end first, make sure the back end comes up, like that. And then you pull down the front, like this. And then you make sure you push it in with your palms. Not your fingers, your palms, because you don't want your fingerprints on your goggles, like this, right? Palms. And you're going to feel that suction go in. And then, rinse yourself off. That's all you need. Off, on. Off, on, and then secure. Ready to go. Once you got your goggles, your swim cap on, now you're ready to go in the water, right? So first of all, take your gum out of your mouth. <laughs> and then, what I do is put my gum on top of my water bottle cap like this. In between sets, I can chew my gum and think. All right, and why do I bring water to the pool? Because just like working out in the gym, you need water. You need to stay hydrated. You can't like go all out for like an hour and not drink any water. Bring some water, filtered water, to your local pool and have it accessible, right? So put it right there. So now you can whoop, grab it when you need a drink between sets. How do we enter the water? It's like taking a Band-Aid off your body, right? You can either slowly peel it off like this or you can just rip it off together. I prefer just ripping the Band-Aid off, okay? But if you want to do the slow approach, what you do is like this. You do like this, put your one foot, other foot in the shallow water, and then you slowly slide your body in. And then you start doing your set. That's the slow Band-Aid peel off method. If I need to just go get a Kickstarter to my ass is just jump into the deep end, all right? So if I'm in the deep end of my pool, I just jump in like this. And I have no choice but to swim my ass off. Don't forget to tie your jammers on too before you spin. Which I did not do. We're in the shallow end. We have the pool to ourselves, thank God. No one blocking our way. You know, we warmed up previously by jumping rope. But that's not enough, okay? We want to get our arms and legs moving with blood really fast because the water is probably cold where you're swimming. So the best way for me to warm up is just to do some really intense front crawl. So this is what I'm gonna do. I noticed that this pool is not very lit, not well lit. It's really hard to see down in the water, see where I'm going. And you also notice that there's no swim lanes or swim indicator lines, right? So I don't see where I'm going when I'm doing my front call because my head is down all the time. So it can be quite dangerous, especially if you're swimming with other patrons. So just be careful in this kind of environment. But your local pool will be better lit than this. It will have line indicators, so you can see where you're going. But uh, for this, you just gotta adapt. And what I do is, I don't have like a, a blueprint in my head of what I'm gonna do. No, I just freestyle. I just jam, All right? Just pick up the guitar and just jam away. That's what I do. You just watch me, see what I do. Okay, start off the wall, knees up. First set done. So as you saw, I was doing a lot of breaststroke because I can't really see where I'm going in this water because the light on the other end is not working for some strange reason. So I can't see where the hell I'm going. So I have to use breaststroke. 
But I threw in some front crawl in the mix and back kicking, back kicking at the end. So the way I work out is I think of it as speeds of a car, okay? So first speed would be breaststroke. So that's like jogging or walking on a treadmill. Second speed would be front crawl, okay? That's like intense jogging, all right? Light jogging to intense jogging. Third speed would be butterfly. Okay, butterfly is just all out sprints. Fourth speed is backstroke or back kicking. Back kicking is kind of like walking in reverse on a treadmill, okay? So you just throw it in the mix for fun to give your, your uh, lungs a breather, all right? So just look up, stare at the ceiling, just relax and kick on your back. That's it, four speeds. That's all you need. And what I do is I just shift between each of them. Whenever I get tired, I just drop it down to a lower speed. Drop it down the breaststroke. If I'm not pushing myself hard enough, kick it up. Go to front crawl, kick it up even further, go to butterfly. Okay, so I'm gonna do my second set. Just watch me just play around, see what I do. Ah, second set done. So, you notice that we have some new visitors in the pool now. So I have to adapt my swimming now. So I'm doing two things different now. One, I have to be mindful of my surroundings even more because of these two people. So what do I do? I switch to breaststroke. Because worst case scenario, I'm gonna slice into them, smash into them, crash into them, whatever. Okay, it happens all the time. Second thing, I have to be mindful of how I do the push off. Okay, so when I do my flip turn, you see me going on my back like that, right? But now, if I go on my back, I don't know where the hell I'm going. I might spear somebody by accident. So I gotta switch it up. So what I do is instead, I'm gonna grab the ball with one arm, and then I turn my body this way and push up. So I'm doing a front flip turn instead of a back. Okay, so if I'm alone, I would do this, get on my back, push off, get on my back, flip turn. But now that we got visitors, I gotta adapt. So what do I do? Grab the wall, forearm, Spider-Man, front glide like that. Third set, here we go. Done. So you notice that my swim cap is going up over my ears. That's normal, okay? Just remember to pull them down. Make sure that they're covering your earlobes. So I'm gonna do a few more sets, and then we're gonna cool down and get out of here, all right? Sound good? This lady is totally blocking me. <laughs> so now's a good time to head to the sauna. <laughs> oh yeah, nice and toasty. She was totally blocking my lane, but that's okay. I can wait. If you're stuck in that situation, be patient. And usually people who have to share a pool like that, a very small pool, usually the lap swimmers, they stay to the sides. Okay, so they swim along the wall out of common courtesy. Okay, don't be a douchebag and swim right in the middle of the pool while there are other people swimming or playing around. That's, come on. Really? All right, so we've been uh, roasting in the sauna for about five minutes. So, and I've been sitting and chatting with you guys, which is not what I would do normally. I would, instead, I would be standing, maybe do some squats, push-ups, stretching, getting ready for my next set. So, get out of here. Really hard to 
see where I'm going. It's just too dark here. So, I'm forced to do only breaststroke, unfortunately. I'm gonna do one more set and then I'm probably gonna call it a day. So, I'll finish off with a grand slam, so I'll probably do some butterfly. Here we go. That's my workout for today.